Male menopause is much different than menopause in women. It's a term used to describe the effect of testosterone levels in men as they age. We sit down with Community Medical Center's internal medicine physician, Dr. Alan Kelton, to learn more. Male menopause involves a decrease of testosterone in the body. Women will have a cessation of menses, right, and they will have a change in the hormone systems that seems fairly rapid for some, slow for others, whereas men have a slow decline in male hormone or, or testosterone over time. Testosterone is a hormone that plays a significant role in men's health, and like many factors in the body, it can decrease with age. Low testosterone um, is fairly common, and actually for men that are overweight and in their 40s, about one in three men may have it. And then certainly by the time a man is 70, about 30% of men will have measurably low testosterone levels. The most common symptoms are all sexual. A decrease in libido, libido is desire for sex, uh, fewer morning erections, and difficulty with erectile functioning. However, low testosterone may not always be the primary cause of male menopause. My initial advice is to really think about your lifestyle because if a man is not sleeping well, is not eating well, is overweight and not exercising, they're going to have all of the symptoms of low male hormone. And it turns out by reversing many of those things, getting at least seven hours of sleep, making sure it's a productive and restful sleep, getting in good exercise, exercise that builds muscles, and also having a, a good diet that is low in sugar that can also help reduce belly fat or if they have a, a beer belly, reduce the beer belly, testosterone levels can improve. For men that qualify and actually accept treatment, about 9 in 10 men after a year of treatment will stop receiving treatment. Dr. Kelton says testosterone therapy can be done in many ways. The treatment is uh, hormone replacement using testosterone, and testosterone can be really replaced in many different ways, injections, creams. You know, there's even a, a, a tablet a man can put in his, uh, in his mouth, and men can get pellets installed, and the pellets will slowly release testosterone over a period of weeks or months. And so there's many different ways, but it's all the same treatment. However, Dr. Kelton says hormone therapy is not for every patient. Uh, if a man has these symptoms, all the sexual symptoms, low, um, low sexual desire, fewer morning erections, difficulty with erections, and they've had head trauma, you know, or if they're having headaches, if they've had a change in vision, that is something that really needs to be evaluated on an urgent basis. But for most men with low testosterone, you know, a decent evaluation can take place over weeks or so. That's why it's important to check with your primary care provider to understand the risks before treatment. The testosterone itself seems to contribute to uh, placking of the coronary arteries, for example. You can get some increased cholesterol buildup, or at least on a temporary basis. A man can also have an increase in their blood counts, and sometimes at such a high level, they may increase the risk of stroke. And then if a man has sleep apnea, they'll have more sleep apnea with testosterone replacement therapy. And above all, set expectational boundaries of testosterone hormone therapy before considering treatment. And I think testosterone is, is both oversold uh, as a uh, fountain of youth. And I like to tell my patients there is no happiness hormone for both men or women. Uh, it's important to live a good lifestyle, and if you think you have a condition that needs treatment, please see a physician. It's very important.